Welcome back to the shop. Well, a couple of days ago, the missus came along and said, can you have a look at this? And I said, oh, what a lovely piece of Chinese engineering. Uh, apparently, it's got a little problem here. And I think we lost a few teeth somewhere inside. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it or not. Uh, I think it wasn't very expensive. But we have a look inside and uh, see what we can do. And uh, they usually just got. Uh, it's, looks like a stripped, stripped part here. So let's see if we can get that apart. It's not very heavy, so I think it's all plastic. Um, Always one which does not turn. Let's see what we can do here. Why is this not coming here? That's weird. They <laughs> put some fancy bolts in there, which are <sighs> so that Chun Do can, op can open it here. So we need to improvise a little bit because I don't have a long split one here. I don't know why they do that. Uh, I don't know if that's visible. It just got a little flat in the middle. It's got a little flat in the middle so the slot doesn't go through. So it always needs a little bit of uh, tinkering to get them out here. So, let's see what we get here. It's full of flour here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much as expected here. The gear is completely stripped. I think you can't really make it much simpler. It's just a crap design. Such a poor design here. Yeah. So, we've got a few options here. Um, We can throw it in the trash bin. Um, we can buy another one and wait if it fails and then use the other and use the other uh, gear to fix this one uh, because it will not last very long. Or we can do a little exercise and actually, and actually make a gear metal. The question is, will the rest last any longer? I don't know. It's just cheap. It's so pretty cheap, you know. It's the cheapest thing I've ever seen here. It's so bad. 
It's designed to fail. Sorry, but that's the, that's the truth. There's no, there's no proper alignment. There's nothing. Uh. Yeah, but it worked for <laughs> don't know how long, a year or two. Gears are held with these plastic shafts here. And they worn down as well. Yeah, that shaft is worn down significantly. It's a plastic shaft running in into a die cast piece of metal here with almost no guidance. Well, we can see that that shaft here which goes into it is worn. There was a little bit of grease on it. It's clearly designed for occasional use. Uh, I remember these things having metal gears and some limited slip clutches and things like that, but they were significantly more expensive than this one. I don't know what it costs. Maybe she bought it second hand on the flea market. I have no idea. Um, I need to have a think what I'm doing here. Well, I'm, I'm tempted to tell her it's not going to be fixed because most of the teeth are actually stripped, so we can either make a new one. I don't know what that is. It, normally these things are made of nylon, but it doesn't look ni like nylon. Um, it's, it's just designed to fail, uh, or designed not to last very long. There's too much play in the whole thing, and I think any effort spent on that thing um, is just wasted. I think we strip it down and recycle it and that's it. At least a nice ferrite core, the cable plug, so we can recycle those things. Process of the motor. And that's about it. Um, the rest is, is just garbage. The, the problem is if it's losing if it's losing alignment, if it's losing alignment once, they they designed to mesh perfectly here in a in a forty five degree angle. And if soon as they lose alignment, it's it's just crushing the gears. If if it jumps over. If it jumps over one two, it's just touching and then it wears the gears out. And I think that's exactly what happened. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. It's, as mentioned at the beginning, a brilliant piece of Chinese engineering. It says Wilco hand mixer. I'll read that. Made in China and uh, 150 watts. Yes. Okay, so I would not recommend to buy one of these. Uh, because whatever money you spend on, it's not worth it. 
it will not last just because how it's designed. I remember the older ones, they got at least a proper gearbox inside. There might be some plastic gears, but the alignment was good. Sorry, I might be too old fashioned, but this is just rubbish design. Uh, it's the only good thing on that is it's it's cheap. <laughs> I think that was the only purpose of it, to make a cheap appliance, which lasts probably as long as the warranty lasts, uh, maybe a couple of days longer, um, under pretty normal conditions that means occasional use in the household kitchen. And uh, that's about it. I'm surprised they use actually ferrite core on the on the power line because that costs money. That's at least fifty pence or so. Probably doubles the values from the ingredients here. Um, so conclusion, trash bin, I'm not going to fix it, I, as much as I would like to show some gear cutting and things like that, but any any other, any other minute spent on that thing is, is too much, because to do it right you're going to start doing a proper redesign of the whole gear assembly here, and uh, so you're either going to print some new gears on a 3D printer in nylon or make some gears out of brass or bronze or whatever uh, but then it goes on with the bearings what you're gonna do with the bearings uh, and I think the basis is just not good enough to make it any better not quite unexpected so why did it fail I think the reason is, well, two reasons. One is poor design, and the second is the flour. It's just full of flour, and uh, that was binding the grease here, and then it started rubbing on this bearing shaft here, or on that shaft which runs into that um, die cast part. So the shaft was wearing down and the distance of the gear was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and at some point it just snapped over. Um, it's gotta happen at some point just because there is no other alignment for the gears or no and apart from these little studs here which I don't know what that material is. It's not, it doesn't look like nylon as well, it's just some weird plastic and you can see that shaft is actually worn considerably here. So it was pushing out and uh, that was causing the misalignment at the end. Um, yeah, no surprise. Yeah, one of the problems is if you look here and here, whatever you mix here, if it's if it's dusty, it just goes into it. Now, by the look at it, how the dirt is actually sitting on the whole thing, the airflow is from here to here, which is stupid. Um, Okay, it makes sense because you don't want all the, the rubbish which goes through the mixer in your food. But uh, sucking the air from this side um, doesn't make sense either. Because if you if you mix something which is dusty like, like flour or something like that, you're going to pull all the, the rubbish through the mixer. Um, other designs got the vent holes elsewhere or have no vent holes or whatever. Um, yeah, I would say it looks nice if you unpack it 
from new, but it's not fit for purpose at all. Shocking, really shocking. So, that's it from the mixer. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend any more time on that thing. It's just disappointing. Till next time.